and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time watching. Today I'm gonna to be doing something kind of different. I say that every video. How can it be different if I'm making different stuff all the different time? Damn. Ugh. Sometimes that you guys, I get on camera, I'm so excited to film and I just say things that it's just like, why? And then I go to edit it and I'm like, huh? What? Girlfriend. My best friend Kyla just got her first house with her boyfriend. They moved in like a couple weeks ago and she asked me for things to put on her house registry. Things that weren't obvious necessarily. That like when you moved in, then a month later you're like, oh crap, I need this and that. Like the things you don't instantly think of, but like you still really need in their essential. So I wrote this entire 25 million page list, not really like one page, and I sent it to her and then I realized 10 minutes ago, like, hello, I just made it entire video and I didn't even film it so here we are also I'm using a new camera which I'm so obsessed with this is the Sony 7c if I'm saying that right I'll leave it down below so far I love it it's really aesthetically pleasing to look at it's like has this retro silver and black look to it but then obviously the quality and the audio and stuff I'm really liking so far but the reason that I'm telling you this nonsense is because if this video is not focused or the coloring is just kaplunk, um, I'm working with it, I'm learning. It is a Sony and if you guys know anything about cameras, usually people that use Canon stick to Canon and people that use Sony stick to Sony because you just know their programming and the way that they work and so I'm being brave by switching from Canon to Sony. So we're just gonna hop right into it. I do have baby Aura here in my arms. She was getting a little bit fussy. She's being festive today. She has her Grinch pajamas on. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, she's being extra clingy today, which is okay. We love the baby snuggles. My arm gets uh, very tired, but that's okay. We're, we're, we'll work with it. So the first thing that is the most important thing, and there's a reason I put it at the top of this list, this is not an, any type of order except for this product. An extremely long extension cord. You need one. I don't care if you have a million outlets in your house, you need a really long one that you can tuck between the couch or your bed, and it can be used for charging your phone, cooking something. I mean, heck, I don't even care what you do with it. Like, you just need one. They are so essential. Every single time I have moved, I have forgotten one and had to go out and buy one because I just haven't learned. Okay, the next one, I'm gonna have to not rant about each of these because there's just so many, I've gotta get through it. So the next one is floor mats for outside of your shower. You can get these at Target for like three bucks, super comfy. Definitely get one that the material is a little bit more um, absorbent, so like a cotton one or something. You don't want the water to just sit on top of it because then it will become moldy and stinky and plus that just defeats the purpose of you getting out of the shower and stepping on a dry, clean floor mat. Okay, put her in her swing. I think she's okay for a minute. So next, bleach. Again, one of those things that you know you probably need. Even me telling you this, you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense just for cleaning purposes or laundry purposes or whatever it may be. Bleach is a great thing to have around your house. Now to kind of go hand in hand with that is vinegar. Vinegar is a great all natural cleaning solution. So mixing it um, half vinegar, half water, and then using it as like an all purpose spray. Or again, laundry purposes or jewelry cleaning purposes. It's just an all around great thing to have in your house. Another one is a humidifier. Now this goes for, if you don't have a baby, I know they're really popular for kids and babies, but you also should be using a humidifier as well as an air purifier. But to be honest, I haven't hopped on the air purifier train yet. I want to, it's just they're a little bit spendy and I'm not sure that I necessarily need one where we live, but I don't know, I just haven't gotten one yet. So um, I have done the humidifier though. I feel like it's super beneficial, especially if you have dry skin or you live in a dry place or your kids get congested a lot. It's just a really good thing to have. And when it comes to humidifiers, get one that is 100% dishwasher safe. I'm sorry this video is choppy. I can already tell it's choppy because I keep stuttering and having to reword myself, which leads to more video cuts, which leads to more choppiness, so I apologize. But I have had so many humidifiers, you guys. I probably spent like $3,000 on humidifiers in my life and they're not that expensive. It's just that mine get 
very moldy, very nasty, and you're supposed to clean it like once a week. One, blah, 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 blah. Ugh, my words. You're supposed to wash it once every week, and that's just not realistic for the average person, especially how long they take to wash. Again, you have to use vinegar, and then you have to let it sit, and then, and no, it's just a huge process. They do have 100% dishwasher safe ones. Another one, and this is really great if you are new to cooking or just younger and moving out for the first time, and it is a crock pot. You can make anything in a crock pot, whether you're a busy person, or you spend a lot of time on your meals, or literally just anything, like every Everybody needs a crock pot. They are a household essential. Now some of these things that I'm about to get into, they're a little bit fluffier items we're gonna call it. So they're a little bit more fun, less essentially, but they are so nice to have and very beneficial if you have them before you need them. The first one being an extra pair of sheets. Now this can be for your guests, if you have a guest bed or a guest bedroom, or just for you, especially if you're like me and you do your laundry, like you take your sheets off, you put them in the washer and then you put them in the dryer and then you forget them about them. You forget about them for like a month. Um, yeah, it's nice to have that second pair of sheets that you can just put on right after you take your sheets off that are dirty and you keep that, you know, momentum of motivation for the day going. So this next one I actually don't own and I am for sure going to buy it. It is on my Christmas list. Yes, I am 24 with four kids and I have a Christmas list. I'm hoping somebody sees it, you know? But that is the carpet cleaner, the Bissell one. This one in particular is an essential. I've seen everybody talk about this one. It is so highly talked about, so that's why I'm getting on here and saying it's an essential. Even though I don't own it yet, it is definitely something that I feel like, again, is a fluffier thing. Like, you don't need it, but if you had it, it is so awesome to have. You can use it on upholstery fabric, so like your curtains or your couches and your carpets. Okay, the next one I'm so excited to talk about. I've tried to find ways to talk about this product because I feel like I found like a worldly hack that nobody knows about, even though I'm sure everybody knows about it. I just like to think that. But everybody knows you need a cordless vacuum, right? Like they're super convenient, they're small, they charge quickly, they work great. Like vacuums have come up in the world these days. Like they're working mighty fine. But unfortunately, Dyson is out here still charging like they're the only good vacuum in the world. So I found a hack. I've owned Dyson's, I've owned the big one, I've owned the cordless ones. I love them. There's no, no shade to throw here. Like they work really great. However, they're very expensive. And when we moved into this new place, I felt kind of ridiculous buying another Dyson for another house. Like, please. So I did some research, you know me, quite the researcher, and I found a cheaper, better solution. It is still a cordless vacuum, and it is still the same size, still is great. I don't know why I did that with my lips. So I was really excited. Then I got it, I used it, I loved it, and now I've been using it for a few months, and I'm just as obsessed as I was in the beginning. And I say that as an important key feature, because sometimes as soon as you buy a vacuum, it's like, yay, this works so great. And then a month in, it's like, where did the suction power go? That's kind of how I felt with Dyson. So I love this vacuum. I got it for Oscar's sister. She moved into her first place recently as well and that was my little housewarming gift for her. It's just so awesome, such a good price, and it works amazing. Okay, the next two things are definitely fluffy, but I feel like they're essentials. Room spray and poopery. Um, poopery is pretty widely known. If you haven't heard of it, you spray it in the toilet, and then you go poo, and it doesn't make the bathroom smell. So it's really nice to have, especially if you have like guest bathrooms and stuff. It makes your guests more comfortable to go to the bathroom, pretty much. Or you can use it for yourself. And then room spray, I feel like that one I always have loved. You can get them at TJ Maxx, Amazon. I mean, literally like, it doesn't matter where you get it. It's not like they're something that you need to get name brand or anything like that. I feel like it really sets the tone and the vibe and the mood for the room and I love it. I use it in my bedroom, not necessarily anywhere else in the house, but I do use it in my bedroom. Also, a little um, over 18, if you're not over 18, skip this 10 seconds, but they do make like room sprays that are supposed to enhance your sexual feelings. That feels so weird to say on a YouTube video, but I'm just saying I didn't know until I knew, so I'm here to help you, girlfriend. Next one is backstock for what? Body wash. Yes, the worst thing ever. None of us pay attention to our stock of inventory on our shower and bath supplies. Another one, which is just as essential as the vinegar. If you decide to do the vinegar and water thing, then disregard this one. But this one is all purpose spray. I love the Lysol one. I know it's harsh chemicals. It's not great for the kids to breathe in. I try to do it when the kids are in bed at night. Um, okay, the next one is another fluffy one as well, but fridge and pantry organizers. 
it makes all the difference. When you open your pantry and it's like overwhelming food everywhere, you forget what you have, then you buy more at the grocery store. It will save you money if you spend the money to get pantry organizers. Am I right or am I right? Completely. Just get what you need and use it. No. It's simple. No. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Sure. That's because you eat spinach and carrots and you don't need that much. I have like donuts and cookies and bread and peanut butter and, and we jelly ended up throwing and seeds away like and Because I forgot I had it because it's not in an organizer. Five bucks I'll find the We don't have organizers in this house, but we have organizers in our other house and I find in my research, again, all that I do, I waste more food here. No. Science so says, can I have you, one of those? You, yeah, you, uh, that's good, sorry. Not I sorry. wasn't sure not what was, yeah, that's what I was in that room. The next thing kind of goes hand in hand with the previous thing I just said with pantry organizers, except this one is actually like, Oscar can't even argue with this. It's 100% essential facts, you need it. They are literally $2, there is no excuse. They are the white flexible organizers from Target. I have these in almost every drawer in my house. They are so amazing. I love that they flex. I think that's why I'm such a fan of them. Now don't get crazy. It doesn't go from like a square to a circle or a rectangle to a star, but you can mold it a little bit. Like, you know, you can kind of squish it in or whatever so you can fit all of it completely. Like sometimes it barely fits and you can kind of like shove it and then it'll mold. Next is command hooks. These are so beneficial whether you want to hang pictures with them or you want to hang some lights or you want to hang some, I don't know, literally anything on the wall. A door wreath. Now they have the ones that aren't just the sticks but the like actual hook. Cooking prongs. Oh my gosh you guys, this is my favorite kitchen tool ever. I stir with these things. Like if you get the ones that clip so that they stay like together, you can use it as a stirring tool or you can like separate them and then obviously use the tong feature. I love these. I have a small one and a big one. And if I could have 20 more, I would. I always use this. It's the only thing actually that I use every single time I cook something. Bathroom trash can for every bathroom. You need one. Even if you're not a girl and you don't need to like dispose of all your feminine products, you still need one for the aspect of your guests. Your guests are gonna be very embarrassed if they go in there and have to throw stuff away and there's nowhere to put it. Things that go on the side of the oven to prevent the food from falling down into the cracks. I forgot what these are called, but I'll have them linked down below. These are amazing to make sure that when you're making rice, when you spill the rice, it doesn't go down in between the oven and the side of the cabinets because you all know you're not cleaning at any time soon. Okay, this one we don't particularly own because we don't eat in the living room at our house, but if you're somebody who does eat in the living room growing up, we did use these and I thought they were awesome. Oscar is the one who prefers not to eat in the living room, so that's why we don't. But the dinner tables that you bring, the dinner trays that you bring into the living room so that you can eat, or even you can use it for if you're working on your couch, like it's like a portable table basically that's smaller. So I highly recommend getting some of those. Okay, you guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what your household essentials are. Things that you wouldn't think of the first time that you go to the store that maybe aren't so obvious, but are great things to have around the house. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.